We're talking about something a little bit more serious right now. We're talking about marriage and uh, ways to know if you're heading down the aisle of divorce. Today, a local licensed professional counselor joins us this morning, David Flowers. Good morning to you. Hi, Liz. How are you? Good. Thank Good. you for asking. Uh, so we're talking about, um, you say, that some of the ways that people might think ruin marriage aren't really the ways. Right, right. A lot of times when people think about the things that end marriages, they think about things like affairs and money, problems with compatibility with sex, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. But those aren't really the causes of divorce. The causes of divorce have to do with bad dynamics in the marriage. So the ways that you communicate to each other, little arguments that you get in nitpicking, those things can actually lead to something more severe. Those things build up. They lead to resentments and kind of deep-seated frustrations mm -hmm. in the relationship. And as that happens, that sense of thinking of each other in a po basically positive way begins to diminish and those sort of resentments build up and people are carrying a lot of frustrations wow. around. So what are some of the other ways, I guess, that we can find? Um, stonewalling is one. I don't know if you're familiar. I'm sure you're familiar with stonewalling, but it's when there's an argument that happens in a relationship, and one of the two people, typically yeah. the man, not always, um, just kind of shuts down, stops talking, refuses to engage. Oh, that happens all the time. Yeah, it does <laughs> happen a lot. And it usually has to do with the fact that he's feeling, he or she, attacked. is feeling attacked, overwhelmed, berated, criticized, things like that, and just needs to get away and kind of dial down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think we're all uh, a little a victim of stonewalling sometimes and mm -hmm. even uh, do it a lot. You yeah. shut down, you walk away. Yeah. Maybe you come out later, though. Right, right. Well, I mean, hopefully you do come out later. But actually one of the other things that ends up being a, a real bad sign in a relationship mm -hmm. is the failure of what we call repair attempts. And a repair attempt is when an argument is happening and one of the partners says, I need to get away for a minute and take a break. And the other partner doesn't let them. They chase them all around the house and maybe What's call wrong? them names. Yeah, and they That's try and dot, you know, in, uh, draw them back into the argument again. Um, we know that whenever you have things in a relationship mm -hmm. uh, like criticism, uh, contempt, uh, defensiveness, those kind of things right there, if you have those things on a regular basis, uh, there's about an 82% chance of divorce over the long oh, haul wow. if you have those kinds of things, you know, long term. But when you add in that repeated failure of the repair attempts that are being mm -hmm. made, uh, it goes up into the 90s. That's not a good sign at all. I guess what would you say as we're wrapping up, what would you say is the key to a successful marriage? Well, I think the key to a successful marriage is maintaining an overall positive environment. Mm -hmm. And so uh, if you're having those kinds of issues in your relationship, you know, criticism and contempt and just a bad feeling about each other and a lot of resentments, I just encourage you to, to get professional help and yeah. have somebody help you kind of restore the closeness and connection and the intimacy that you once had. Every relationship starts mm -hmm. out, most of them start out in a positive, healthy way. We can get you back there. We've been talking about this on our Facebook page and I, we do have a question this morning. Mm -hmm. And that question uh, comes from Stephanie. It says, Dave, do you feel counseling helps to secure an unmarried couple's future? Does going to church have an impact even? I do a lot of premarital work, and mm -hmm. premarital counseling has been shown to have a tremendously positive effect. Couples that go through and do a really solid premarital counseling program uh, have a significantly better chance of staying together and being more satisfied in their relationship. Uh, we do know also from research that church commitments and religious commitments mm -hmm. can help. They don't have to be part of a healthy relationship, but they certainly can make a, a very positive difference. Very cool. Anything else that you want to add as far as I know? Uh, is, the, is the percentage still 50% of uh, marriages fail in America? Well, that's a little bit misleading because yeah. it, it's not 50% of all, it's 50% of all relationships fail, but uh, the majority of those happen in the first five years. Yeah. All right, Dave, thank you so much again. Uh, he is also a pastor at Wild Wind Church in Flint, uh, an instructor at Spring Arbor University. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, a counselor. Thank you for joining us. And you can find his blog at thefallencleric.com.